Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. Okay, so today um, I'm from Britain, I'm British, so I thought it'd be fun to see if I can name the American equivalent of some British words. Okay, let's get on with it. So, um, this quiz is from quizpoke.com. And can you name the British equivalent of these British words? So, one of them, what is the American equivalent of the British word mate? Date, buddy, you go. Buddy. Uh, next question What is the American equivalent of the British word burger roll? Damned you all, nothing at all, all is lost. Damned you all. Next question. What is the American equivalent to the British word knackered? Na mm, sorry, knackered. Whether tired or broken hearted. The yeah, answer tired. Next question. For example. What is the American equivalent of the British word gobsmacked, horrified, angered, or shocked? Uh, shocked, I believe. Okay, next question. Question bad. What is the American equivalent of the British word bodge, cheap, expensive, or burdened? I don't know. I'm gonna go with cheap. Next question. Question three. What is the American equivalent of the British word blinding? Terrifying, super, or beautiful? I'm gonna go beautiful. I don't know. Uh, next question. Question seven out of twelve. What's the American equivalent of the British word cheers? <laughs> uh, thank you. That's a simple. Okay, next question. What is the American equivalent of the British word ace? To pass, to fail, or to fall up? Uh, to pass, I believe. <laughs> Question nine. What is the American equivalent of the British word all to pot? Beyond the grave, hypocrite, or out of your control? Uh, out of your control, I believe. Next question. Question 10. What is the American equivalent of the British word chunder? Blunder, sick, or drunk? Uh, let's go with drunk. Next question. Question 11. What is the American equivalent of the British word for, fortnight? Tomorrow, tonight, or two weeks? Two weeks. Next question. Final question. What is the American equivalent of the British word scrummy? Crummy, delicious, or scummy? Uh, be delicious. Result. Okay, A plus, word whiz, 10 right. Okay, check my answers, see how many got right. Okay, got question one right. Burger roll, oh, yeah. Cause I know, that's nothing at all. Okay, my mistake, uh, okay. Got question three right, got question four right. Got question five right. Oh, got question six right. Got question seven right. Got question eight right. Got question nine right. Got question ten right. Wait, no. Oh, no. Got question ten wrong. It's sick, not drunk. Okay. And then obviously 11 and 12 I got right. Cool. So this next quiz I'm doing is um, from the Macmillan documentary blog.com. And that's a quiz, British and American English, Volume 1. OK, 
Okay, test your knowledge on the subtle differences between the British and American English dictionary. Okay, start. If a British speaks, if a British speaks, if a British speaker asks you to put something in the boot, do you put it in a cupboard, car, or shoe? You put it in a car, because it's the American equivalent of a trunk. No, shoe in trunk. Next question. In the US, what school do children go to age 5 to 11? Uh, infant school, primary school, elementary school? Elementary school. Primary school, elementary school, yeah. What's the correct UK spelling of this unit of measurements? Kilometer, uh, kilometer, uh, just kilometer, uh, I think it's this one. Ah, uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, I spelled it the American way. Whoops. Right, next question. What do people in the US call this? A flashlight, a lamp, or a torch? Flashlight. And then obviously the Amer US UK version is. Um, torch. Okay, if someone in the UK asks you for a lift, what do they want you to do? Help them with something, pick them up and carry them, or take them somewhere in a car? Um, take them somewhere in the car. If you give someone a lift in the UK, you take them somewhere in your car. In the US, you would give them a ride. Where would people in the US go to watch the James Bond film? To the movie theatre, to the movie mall, or to the cinema? Uh, movie theatre. British, British English cinema, American media. Okay. If someone admires your jumper in the UK, do they like your woolly top, your trampoline, or your sleeveless dress. Uh, woolly top. Uh, US version would be sweater. Sweater. Jumper, a woolly top. American English jumper, a sleeveless dress. British English jumper, American English sweater. American English jumper, British English pinnacle. Okay. That's <laughs> what in the US, what are you going, what are you using if you go to work by bus? Public carriage, public transport, public transportation. Public transportation? Oh yeah. British, British English, public transport, American public transportation. So it's basically the same thing, but US as, as the Asian at the end. But we just use transport. Okay. What do people in the UK call this? Packet of crisps, a packet of fries, or a packet of crisps. Sorry, a packet of chips, a packet of fries, or a packet of crisps. UK call them packet of crisps, and um, obviously US chips. British English crisp equals American English chips. British English chips equals American English fries. French fries. Okay, last question. If a US speaker says your bangs are too short, what are they giving you an opinion on? Your curtain, your drums, or your hair? That will be here because the UK version is fringe, I believe. British English fringe, American English bangs. Viewers are 9 out of 10, but uh, 90%. Go! Okay then. <clears throat> okay, so um, what I've learned from these quizzes is um, <laughs> I know American and British slang plus terminology quite well. Um, that Macmillan was a volume one. Let me know in the comments below if I can find it. You want me to do the part two? I can't promise anything that I'll find it, but I can give my my good go and find it. Um, or let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another one of these British American slangs or any other country that you want me to try British slang with um okay well that's the end of the video thank you for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on to get notified when I post a new video I post every Friday and I shall see you guys next time bye